Welcome back, Nathan Nice, to another video. This is the real Nathan experience. My name is Nathan. I am here with Alley Cat Castle. She is she's a YouTuber. She uh, has a YouTube channel under the same name, uh, Alley Cat Castle. So, uh, give us a little brief description of about yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Alicat Castle, and yes, I'm a fellow YouTuber of Nathan, so we're actually doing a collaboration. So Nathan asked me, and since he's really like a very good friend of mine on YouTube, and um, I said like, why not, right? We have like quite some similar interests that we are going to talk about today. So again, my YouTube channel is Alicat Castle. I actually do a lot of makeup tutorials, and then for some reason, I actually did some uh, self-development as well as some singing but now I'm going back to makeup as well and I'm also a co-host for my other YouTube channel with my um, with my younger sister and it's called Sisters Like Angel and Ally where we get to highlight individuals making a difference in their communities and we also do like a uh, little fun trivial things together. That's great and you're also doing uh, YouTube shorts? Yes, we're also doing YouTube Shorts, actually. Um, YouTube Shorts is actually like a new program uh, from YouTube. Uh, and the good thing about that is that, you know, you can actually make a video um, in one minute. Uh, it has to be vertical, by the way. And the good thing about that is that you can actually show them a little bit of your personality. So why not, right? It's kind of like um, an equal opportunity for all, as they say. Oh, yeah. Are you having fun with that? Yeah, I'm having fun with that. You know, I mean, like... Um, because I used to use, I used to do teasers before on my um on my episodes. So right. for me, my teasers before I would also do them like around one minute or less than one minute. So for me, transitioning from my teasers to the shorts, um, it was not a big deal for me. And I actually think that you know, I mean, it's time that actually that YouTube actually has something new in their system, you know. And I think everyone's so excited about it. And there you go. So oh. I can't wait for you to do your next short. I mean, or for you to start your short, Nathan. Oh, okay. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, so I came up with this idea with you because you and I have such similarities with uh, Disney. <laughs> and uh, so I'm a big Disney. I've been a big Disney nerd for maybe since I was a kid. And I... Uh, reignited that passion once again I would say back in 2012 when I went to Disney World for the very first time as an adult by myself and it was a uh, really fun really exhilarating it was really um overwhelming experience especially when you go there for the first time and uh and I and then I decided to go back again two years ago in 2018 so and uh I started doing my own um hashtag my Disney um that my my Disney magic moments where I just wanted to share my experiences with Disney and it somehow caught your eye. I think I showed it to you. And I'm trying to remember how I first met you. I think you just popped up on YouTube and you asked to share some of uh, other people's videos that you wanted to watch. And so I shared my, my Disney videos and uh, then you and I just uh, instantly clicked, I suppose. So we're going to talk about Disney today, and uh, so I'm going to ask you some questions, and I uh, I don't know if this thing is timed. I know it says we only have 40 minutes, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'll ask you some questions, and you can ask me some questions, and then we'll go on from there. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I guess first question is, favorite Disney movie? Oh, uh, that's a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I believe, um, I, I do have a lot of favorites when it comes to Disney movie, but I do believe that some of my favorites are, of course, like Cinderella. Who doesn't like Cinderella? Oh, yeah. You know, um, she's like a perfect example of a woman who, um, that in spite of everything that's, um, everything, in spite of like everything that happened to her by the relationship that she had with her stepmother and two stepsisters, she still had so much kindness, had so much understanding. And at the end of the day, if you are a beautiful person inside, that will shine through and other people can see that. So that's definitely something that I really, really um, can relate to because it's such an inspirational movie. I also like Ariel. I mean, um, Little Mermaid, because, yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> as 
Little Mermaid. Um, she's always curious of what's out there. And I believe as human beings, we should always be curious on like what's outside of the world, you know, outside of our own bubble, right? right, right, right and then right. third, I believe I also like um, Beauty and the Beast because Belle was like uh, uh, such an educated woman. And um, she also taught, you know, the beast to basically get his heart back again. Right. You know, teach him compassion, understanding, and love. So how right. about you? What are your favorite movies and why? Well, I came prepared. You see that? Of course, The Lion King. Yeah, The Lion King. I don't know why. It's just, it's always hit me uh, when I was a kid. And um, I I kind of, I kind of enjoyed the, um, uh, yeah, the kindness and, and the kindness that he was taught and uh, the no worries. You know, uh, I guess that's something to do with the fact that I am a Leo. <laughs> and I don't know, it's just uh, something about that movie that really impacted me about growing up and uh, learning how to stand up for yourself, uh, being uh, being disabled. Uh, I've always had to deal with bullies, and uh, but I never really knew how to deal with them. Uh, and uh, somehow watching this movie, um, kind of, it's always impacted me, and it's always made me feel good about myself and um it's just a really good uh exhilarating story that it told so it's just, it was just it just really hit me that's all i could really say about that you know so it's just uh it was just a really really good entertaining movie you know and i guess i've always uh, had a um, connection with uh, rafiki who is a martial artist himself who just put that kind of comedy into into that look Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, it was just, it was, I, I just truly enjoyed it. I truly, I truly enjoyed the no worries, the, the, the Hukuna Matata. That was, <laughs> I always think of uh, uh, Hukuna Matata because uh, I always try to have no worries. And uh, it's just, I just enjoyed it. It was just a really, really great, well put together movie. So, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the only one I, that's the only one that I have that I can think about. It's always been, my all-time favorite, not just in Disney movies, but all-time favorite favorite movie of all time. So well, that's great. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, and uh, as far as Disney movies are concerned, I mean, I've always uh, 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 Frozen, the Frozen series has always got to me. Also, so there's something powerful about Frozen, you know, especially from for for ladies, you know, and I've always enjoyed that and. Uh, um, Speaking of which, uh, do you have a favorite um, Disney princess? Do you have a favorite uh, strong female character as far as Disney is concerned? Well, I do love all of them. Um, but then again, I will go back to, I think, my... Um, oh, actually, if there's a Disney princess, of course, that I like, I actually admire Mulan. Yes. Just because I felt like she had to put aside who she really was because she needed to uh, fight for the things that she believed in and for to protect her family. Right. And in my culture as an Asian person, um, as a Filipino uh, American, um, sometimes we always would put our family first before our individual wants. And we would always want to protect them first. And, you know, just to really... Uh, make sure that, especially our elders, and that's what I really respected about Mulan, how much protective she was of her dad. Right. You know, so even if she had to, like, uh, you know, like, um, put on a facade in order for her to fulfill a role or, you know, for her to um, fight for um, what's best, not just for, you know, like, the things that she believed in, but for but what's best for her family, right. and that's the reason why Mulan is very close to my heart. Right. Okay. And you, who is your favorite princess and your favorite prince? Ah, uh, well, I have to say, as a strong female character is concerned, I have to say Elsa. 
it's just, just a very, very powerful singer. She's a uh, um, uh, Kristen, you got to have something to balance that out with a really quirky sister. And uh, I don't, I, I'm in my family, I'm the quirky one. Everybody else has always been the serious one. I do have a younger brother and a younger sister, and uh, I've always been the black sheep of the family. Everything they do, I go the opposite way. <laughs> so, um, Yeah, and it was just, uh, it was the way that she sang and the way she uh, um, proving herself to being the uh, the strong female of the family, I guess. Uh, it was just, uh, it was just singing. I really, I just really enjoyed her singing, you know, the, and her, um, the, the actress that portrayed her, uh, Adrena Mendel, I think her name is, and uh, she just did a little Adrena bit. Mendel. Yes, yes, thank you. And yeah, she she did a terrific job playing Elsa. I gotta tell her, I gotta say, and uh, um, oh, where's the other one? Um, the one from Brave. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish, uh, the Irish. Um, God, I've got her. Uh, the way that she uh, wants to stand up for herself and uh, she wants to. Um, uh, prove her independence to everybody, and uh, she proved that she doesn't really need anybody around her to. She doesn't need a man, you know, to mm -hmm. uh, to um, do the things that she had that she wanted to do. Yeah, you exactly. know, like exactly, like she wasn't she wasn't codependent on someone. She was yeah. a very independent. Yeah, and she knew herself really well. Yeah, and um, she is actually like a um. Um. Uh, she symbolizes the woman of today. Yes, you know, yeah, who has yeah. a voice, who actually can fight for her rights, exactly, and who can do the things that she wants without, you know, the validation or the need for validation from a man. Yeah, or it kind of so. reminds me of you, I guess. It kind of does remind me of you, I guess. You know, because uh, you know, after uh, I don't know your story. I mean, we're still, I'm still trying to get to know you a little bit more. But yeah, it, you know, after hearing you say that, it kind of reminds me a little bit of you. So, uh, um, and uh, and of course, you know, with uh, you know, uh, women wanting equal rights. I'm not sure if that's the right way to phrase it, but um, uh, e uh, equality with men. You know that that women can do the same things that men can do. And mm -hmm. uh, and you know having their own independence and uh, uh, all that stuff. I mean, I like I like strong independent women because of of how they stand up for themselves and how they how they um, present themselves uh, in in a way that uh, is kind of intimidating. Not to me, you know, and because I'm, I'm not very, I'm not that intimidating by women, unless they can kick my butt. That's very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's one great thing about Disney. You know, Disney actually, um, uh, they just do so much for the community. Yeah. They want to cater to as much audience as possible and celebrate yeah. every story as much as possible. And they also welcome everyone open arms, you know, yeah. even during you know, the month of June, they actually have what they call like the, um, the gay days in Disney, you know, and that they yeah. actually don't, uh, they don't leave behind anyone who wants to enjoy the happiest place on earth. Yeah. And that's the reason why Disney is loved by many is because of its magical place, because of its inspiring stories, yeah. because of uh, the characters in the stories where they become a part of us since we were young and yeah. kind of like almost like our role models. And until we grow old, you know, as like the adults that we are, um, we carry that with us, the lessons yeah. that we've learned when we were younger. And no matter what other people say, we will always be a kid at heart no matter what. And whenever we go to Disney, it will always remind us just like how we, we were when we were like five years old or 10 years old. You oh, know? Yeah. It's like really, there's no place like Disney. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put this on. I, I can't put it on, I got my headphones on, but 
<laughs> there you go. Yeah. The wizard. He's all right. But I got my headphones on. These are the I see only way I can hear you because of my hearing impaired. So, well, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I got this in Disney oh. World two years ago, and I just couldn't resist. I had to get it. So, so uh, mm -hmm. speaking of Disney, have you been to any one of the parks? Yes, I've been to Disneyland world? and I've been to Disney World. Yeah. So my very first trip to Disneyland was when I was six years old on my first trip to the United States with my family. Uh -huh. And um, it was truly magical for me. You know, I mean, like, um, I remember then I was with my mom and with my brothers and it was just, it was so fun. It was like a dream come true, you know? Yeah. And then the, the first time that I went to um, Disney World was back in 2005, I believe. And um, my favorite park at Disney World was Epcot. Did you go you know, with family? Because... Did you go with family? I'm sorry? Did you go with family? You... Um, to oh. Epcot, I went, uh, no, to Disney World, I went with my ex-boyfriend. But oh, okay. to Disneyland, I went with my family when I was oh, okay. like six years old. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, my, oh. I, uh, it's so hard for me to remember my earliest memories, but, um. I do have a very <laughs> scary moment from Disney. I don't know why it stuck with me for so long, but it was, uh, I don't remember the ride, but it was a submarine ride. We go, on, we go into a little submarine. And yes, go the water. yellow one. Huh? Mm -hmm. what yeah, the yellow submarine. Yellow submarine, is that what it's called? Yes, that scared me so badly. I don't know why, but uh, to this day, I would never ever go into the ocean ever again. <laughs> Why are you are you claustrophobic or something? Is it that feeling of like being underwater with like in a very small I think that's like, what it was, of, like yeah. tube? But you yeah. know what amazed me then was like when I saw the mermaids. Remember? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the mermaids. Are, the mermaids in, in, in for me ocean? was like yeah. wow. I was yeah. like that was like the for me like the the like you know the climactic moment when i actually yeah. like took that ride but i do get it like why you feel that way you know because like yeah. some people they actually don't like very like small cramped spaces yeah so it's so totally understandable yeah and yeah also yeah i remember doing racing with my grandpa uh i remember doing the uh i definitely remember the monorail because we would have a hotel with the monorail right next to that i remember that um yeah i was uh was with my uh my dad's side of the family my parents are divorced uh they were divorced at that time and uh, so we did, so i went to disneyland with my dad's side of the family with my grandpa my, my grandmother is 88 years old she's still around which is unbelievable oh wow i'm so happy for you you're very lucky exactly. yeah i know hello to your grandmother i'm sure she's like a beautiful woman and so strong. And oh yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I had uh, I have plans to try to call everybody on Thanksgiving. So, um, and uh, see, back in 2012, I went to Disney World by myself, and uh, again, a most exhilarating experience I ever had. I got to meet characters. I got to meet. Um, um, I was really shy for as well as meeting characters. I don't know why I'm shy. I'm usually shy around people. I don't know why. And uh, I, think it's, I guess it's kind of different between this right now because we're not like meeting in person. These are like a virtual meet, you know, I guess. I don't know why, but I'm always shy around people. But yeah, I was shy around meeting the princesses. I met a whole lot of princesses and uh, I met uh, Mickey and Minnie. I didn't think they would let me because I'm an adult. And uh, but they did, and uh, and so I met all the characters that I could find the first time around. It's uh, it was fun. I was teary eyed and uh, just s smiling from ear to ear, and uh, um, it was it was it was fun, and it was so much to do. You've been to Disney World. You know how much stuff there is to do that you cannot get through all of it, even right. in in five days, and. Uh, yeah, it was just a really great experience, and um, uh, in 2018, uh, was a little bit harsher because I wasn't feeling well when I was down there, and uh, um, I, 
but I kind of made the best of it and uh, I made some characters I didn't meet, you know, uh, like, uh, um, uh, like Donald and Daisy, Donald and Daisy Duck. Uh, I, they are like my, they are like kind of like my family to me. I don't know why, but I always felt uh, safe around them. They've always been the, the kind of characters I would like watch on TV and uh, just, uh, just have a blast. And, um, um, and uh, when I met Daisy, I cried. <laughs> I don't know why. I just teared up and I just started crying, and uh, it was just it was it was great, you know. So, and uh, I hope that one day I'll be able to get to share that experience with somebody because I've never been able to. So, uh, I've been trying to take my mom for years, but something always came up. But yeah, those are my most favorite Disney experiences and um, I made a YouTube video out of it uh, two years ago. It was about an hour long video. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way, but it was uh, in the beginnings of my YouTube uh, mm -hmm. YouTube career, you know, so and um, uh, yeah, uh, did you meet any characters while you were down there? Um, I, I met some characters. I just did not take pictures with them. Was it because the thing was um, when I went to Disney World? So when I went there with my ex boyfriend in two thousand six, and then I went back there with my brother back in I think 2014, 2015. and um, we went to Epcot and we just really wanted to like have a great time and like enjoy all the rides. Of course and. You know, and because Epcot for me is kind of like being in like, you know, different nations in one park. Right. You know, I remember how beautiful Mexico was. Right. Um, how beautiful Italy was, London. Right. I mean, it, everything was beautiful for me and in Epcot. And for me, it was kind of like if I could just live there, I would. That's how beautiful <laughs> it was. Too. Yeah. Yeah, it it's just so cute, you know, everything was so cute. <laughs> and I think Epcot also is kind of like a perfect park for adults. Yeah. Because it's mostly like you traveling to another country, but here after walking like you know, like a few blocks, you're yeah. in a different country. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was beautiful. I remember like Japan was beautiful as well. Like it's just it was it was amazing it was amazing like i cannot like put into words how much i enjoyed that moment right you now your most favorite park yes yeah. i would say that's my most favorite park yeah is epcot yeah i think how my, about you yeah i think mine would be the animal kingdom and uh oh i, I love animal kingdom too did you yeah. did you actually did you actually take the safari ride uh, yeah, the the Kil yeah the Kilimanjaro Safari. Yeah, yeah, I actually, yeah. I actually love that because you really felt like you were also again. You felt like yeah. you were in Africa. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, it's like you really saw animals. Oh yeah. And um, and I actually I love I loved Animal Kingdom too because it was just kind of like um, it was like a happy wildlife like park <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah if i could like Especially, i don't know if i described that right you know? yeah 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 but yeah. for me it was you know like for some reason you are one with the animals yeah and all the animals are like happy animals hopefully yeah. Yeah. and i'm sure they do take care of well so oh yeah i mean yeah that that um as far as uh attracting or can or concerned that is my most favorite one and yeah, just being seeing with the animals, just seeing how they were able to create that entire safari in, in such an ingenious way. I I thought it was absolutely amazing. You know, I actually literally thought that the animals were roaming free when it's clearly you know camouflaged in such a, an ingenious way that you that you would think that. And mm -hmm. uh, you know how all the animals are actually fenced in, but you can't see the fences because they're still cleverly uh, camouflaged. And uh, yeah, just seeing the beauty of all these animals that I have never seen before, it was truly, a truly amazing experience. And um, my only disappointment with that ride is I never got to see the lions. I don't know if you ever got to see mm -hmm. the lions, but I never got to see the lions. 
when I when I did that uh, mm -hmm. safari. So maybe they were eating their food. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were hunting. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were hunting. Yeah, yeah, they were hunting. Do you have a favorite thrill ride? I know why. I, I know. I know why you want to see the lions because you know because of your favorite movie, The Lion King. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you have a favorite thrill ride? Huh? Favorite thrill ride? My favorite thrill ride, um, I believe Space Mountain okay. in Disneyland. Oh, I can't do you that. You know, just I because, oh, that. I know why you can't do it. Because, again, you're very scared of, like, very close, like, spaces. <laughs> yeah. Anything in the tube or anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know. And I actually, I love it because it was, like, dark and it was just, like, you were just moving so fast. Oh, I also loved Indiana Jones. I was a part of that one. I was a part of that one. That was really, you know, like that was, especially when the big rock almost yeah. like you thought would like fall on you. Yeah. That was a good one as well. I was an extra. I was an extra in that one. Uh, two years ago, they, uh, I was. Uh, oh, you were? Yeah, I was an extra. And uh, they were at, they were looking for an extra. And I'm like, hey, 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 pick me. And they picked me. And yeah, I got to be an extra and all that. I got to be a part of the show. We, I got to be as close to. Uh, there's a scene where you see a car coming in and it, and it explodes and it flips over. I was a part of that, and and uh, um, we were so close to that that you actually felt the heat from that explosion, and that's how close we were. And yeah, it was. I I never thought I would get picked for that, but it was so much fun to do. And, uh, I and know. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, they got to put me in costume and everything. I got to play an Arab. <laughs> and uh, with that's that, so cool. Yeah, that was fun. And um, my favorite. How about ride? Haunted Mansion? Do you like Haunted Mansion? I do. I love that one. I do. And uh, uh, I have a memory of that one. Uh, the first time I went to the Haunted Mansion, I went by myself. And uh, you know, at the end of the ride, you get to see those mirrors. Yes. Yeah, and uh, since I was sitting by myself, I had a ghost sitting right here beside me. And what he did was he was able to cut my head off, literally cut my head off, and then take my head and put it on his body, and he would take his head and put it on my body. Oh, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, they actually, I was like, oh, my God, they, actually, they can do that? That was so amazing. I was laughing my butt off. It was, it was well, so funny. I I remember when I took that ride, um, when I was a kid, the first time that I took that ride when I was six years old, I was so scared. I was just so scared because of because it's haunted mansion. You get what I mean? Exactly. But as as but when I got older, it wasn't that scary anymore. But it gave me that memory of being a kid, yeah. you know, being scared. And um, but if you're gonna ask me though, if if you would, let's say, if they ask you that they're going to pay you like thousands of dollars to stay there in the Haunted <laughs> Mansion overnight, are you going to do it? Yeah, I would do it. I would. I yeah. won't, you I won't, won't do it. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too, I, I think too much. Yeah. Um, I wonder too much. And yeah. for me, the fact that it's just haunted, I don't know. Yeah, because uh, I believe in spirits. Because what if like spirits are there too? You know what I mean. But it's oh, not operating. Yeah. Oh yeah. So for me, I I'm not gonna take the chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think for mine, I don't I don't think I would do it. No, 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 no. Forget it. I wouldn't do it. Uh, but I have to say, my favorite thrill ride would have to be um, Fast Track. Oh, I love Fast Track, yes. Yeah, Fast Track, and uh, um, I got nothing else. I would have to say maybe uh, Mount Everest, too. Um, but yeah, uh, Space Mountain, uh, I'm, I, I'm not doing that ride ever again because I almost fell out of that oh ride. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. So I was, like, literally hanging on to dear life because my, 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 uh, my, uh, we call it my seatbelt thing. That thing that comes down on here wasn't pushed down all the way. Right. And so I'm like literally just hanging on for dear life. And, uh, and I'm like, okay, I'm not doing that ever again. So <laughs> that's, that's why I won't do that again. I can't trust that ride again.
How about the ride Peter Pan? Did you like Peter Pan? I have not done that ride. I, I haven't actually, done it. Believe it or not, I actually love all those rides. Mm -hmm. Peter Pan, um, Snow White. Um, it was so cute, you know, because oh. you're just like a kid again. And you're like, you feel like you're so close to this, like the witch and Snow yeah. White right there. And um, <laughs> with Peter Pan, you feel like you're like flying and everything. Yeah. You know, it's just like for me, that's like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I love it. I like those things. I like the thought of like flying. Oh, yeah. And seeing everything right, like right below me. You know, like for example, um, I also like Aladdin. And then when they actually did Aladdin, you know, with um, um, like the remake of Aladdin, uh -huh, it was okay. just amazing how true to life it looked. Right. You know, and um, and then there was like the magic carpet, and there was like the big lion. There you go. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Um, I guess when it comes to flying, I I kind of look to I don't look to Disney when it comes to that. I kind of look to uh, uh, comic books. You know, like uh, uh, you know, people with superpowers. That's what I look to, but um. It's just for me, uh, for Disney, about me, it's the, it's the thrill of the experiences that we get to do. And um, it's just, um, yeah, it's just, uh, when, it, when it comes to meeting characters, I feel like a kid again. And uh, I think that's the one thing that people just don't get is feeling that release and uh, feeling that joy of what it used to be like when you were a kid and um, re reliving that again. That's the, probably the one thing why I love going to Disney and seeing to keep going back, you know, and it's just, it's just totally different from all the other places in the world. So, and, um, um, and, uh, <sighs> That's all I can really think about when it comes to Disney. So it's just. It's How just, about your favorite Disney song? What's your favorite Disney song? Favorite Disney song? Oh gosh. Is it "Can You Feel the Love Tonight" from Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, <laughs> probably so. Um, uh well, if you, while you're thinking, I'm going to say mine. Okay. So my favorite song is A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. What's, what is, where is that from? From Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes like, A dream is a wish your heart makes. Oh. When you're fast asleep. Okay. In dreams, you will lose your heartaches. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams, and someday the rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. Oh. <laughs> Look, he's got a song from Alley Cat Castle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, stop. <laughs> well, I love that song, A Dream is a Wish Heart Makes, because you know what? Especially in these times of pandemic, yeah. in these times of like, um, you know, the biggest trials that we get to experience in our lifetime, you know, not just here, but globally, we have to hold on to our dreams, you know? Um, yeah. It's the only thing that will keep us going. You know, whether that be your dream for yourself, the dream for your family, the dream of the things that you would like to do in life, and the things that you have for your, the dream that you have for your community and the world. Yeah. And I believe that if you have that dream with you, you will always have this strength and this force in you that things will be okay. That yeah. you will actually see the glass half full instead of it being half empty. Right. Uh, that, that was absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything. 
I don't have a favorite song. I don't know why. It's okay. <laughs> how about how about the castle? What does the castle symbolize to you? It symbolizes uh, that dreams can come true. Yes. Um, for me, you know, uh, from knowing a little bit of history about Walt Disney, uh, having to put in all that hard work to make your dreams come true, no matter uh, if it fails. And because uh, Walt Disney had to go through some big failures in order to make his dream happened to open up uh, uh, to open up a theme park, and on top of that, uh, make movies, uh, animated movies, and bring his characters to life. And uh, I would have to say my favorite song would have to be from the music of. That castle, where uh, the, the when the the nighttime fireworks, so mm -hmm. um, every Is time it Fantasia, was, huh? Was that yes, yeah, and no, no, not Fantasia, but you know, um, when you see the fireworks show from uh, the Magic Kingdom, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you see that uh, uh, the animation coming from coming onto the castle and you're watching the animation coming from the castle right mm -hmm. it starts playing that music and then it comes to fireworks and uh um every time i watch that it gets me every time i start you know tearing up i start getting a little emotional and uh and uh yeah it just uh it symbolizes that dreams can come true and uh and i for me it kind of in my perspective, once you put in the hard work and you don't give up, and uh, your your dreams will come to a reality. So, and uh, I've tried to put that into my, I try to put that narrative into my life for the last six years, and uh, and uh, so far it's worked out pretty well for me. So, uh, uh, I've done uh, some pretty amazing things. You know, I mean. I've studied martial arts that unfortunately I had to stop doing, uh, but I've gotten, uh, I was able to uh, showcase my skills by getting into a fight and uh, I lost the fight, but uh, it was uh, an amazing experience because I didn't uh, stop and I, I kept going until I was able to do it. So, and uh, that's what, that's what uh, Disney uh, symbolizes for me, so. Oh, yeah. see, because for me, I have the a YouTube castles... channel. I mean, huh? I have a YouTube channel now, and I'm I meeting some pretty terrific people like yourself, and uh, uh, and it's uh, it's uh, it's just a, it's just a wonderful thing, and it's, it's and I'm not going to stop doing it. So, and as long as I got you know people like you and other people who love to watch my stuff, I'm I'm going to keep doing it no matter what. So it's fun. It's fun for me. So, um, but yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's totally fine. And actually, I believe that's basically what Disney's about. You know, Disney's about, you know, bringing everyone together, everyone yeah. belonging to the kingdom. And um, just like, you know, you have your own channel, you yeah. will build your tribe. I'm one of those people who believe in you and I will support you in everything that you do. And, um, and, that's the beauty of this world, you know, as long as one person believes in you, then uh, that's all that matters. But yeah. more than anything, we need to always believe in ourselves first, because how could other people believe in us if we don't believe in ourselves? Right. So we need to actually put it out there that um, each of us has our gifts, our gifts that we can like, um, you know, celebrate and share to others. Yeah. And I think if everyone is going to focus on their natural gifts and do the best that they can, then, you know, they can be the best version for themselves, you know, for others. Yeah. Other than anything. Yeah. That's why I call it my, that's why I call my channel the experience because I like to share my experience with other people. And uh, even though that we are, most of us are stuck at home because of a pandemic, 
uh, uh, and for me to do that is, uh, I would have to say it's a blessing. So, um, it's, it's not, it's not something I get to do normally when I'm around people, I guess. So I just put it on video and, uh, and I just let it do its thing. So, and, um, I guess they're the same way. I don't know, but, um, I just like being able to share things with other people and, uh, I rarely get a chance to do that. So, um, uh, it's, it's why I'm trying to push so hard on my mother that I'm trying to get her to go to Disney world with me because she, she doesn't like it when I tell her this, but she is getting old <laughs> and, uh, I liked her. I would like for her to, you know, experience things that I've been doing. You know, I love to travel, and uh, I I want to go to Washington D.C. I've never been to the capital, and uh, I want to go to uh, I don't know London or Italy or the Vatican, whatever, and uh, just enjoy the life, enjoy the things that life has to offer. I think that's the other thing that brings that. Disney brings out in all of us just to enjoy the things that life has to offer mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, meeting new people, enjoying their experiences and um, just have fun with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I do, I have fun with it. So, and, um, and I guess that's what uh, the other thing that uh, Disney, what Disney means to me. So, um, uh, I got nothing else. <laughs> it's it's great, you know, where you were able to encapsulate everything, and you know, and I think this is great that we got to talk about, you know, how important it is that we need to get the chance to to just go for it. Yeah, you know, because in this time of pandemic, that we cannot go anywhere. Yeah, that we cannot do things with people. We can always hold on to the memories during the times that we had the opportunity to go there. Yeah. And that's basically what this pandemic also taught everyone, taught all of us, that hopefully once this is over, people will choose to live their lives. People will choose the importance of not just working all the time, yeah. but also having some time to recharge yourself and treat yourself to go somewhere that could inspire you. Because once you come back, then you're a totally different person, not just for yourself, but for others. Exactly. Oh, well, Ali, thank you very much for doing this with me. Um, I kind of wish I had more to talk about, but I guess, we, you know, I don't want to keep you. I don't want to keep you. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for doing this with me. And um, uh I love you with all my heart, and you're just an absolutely terrific human being I've ever met. And uh, uh, you and Angel, and you uh, Angel too, she's just absolutely terrific human being. So uh, thank you for doing this with me. I really appreciate it. Hope you get to do this again too. Of course. Well, I want you to know that thank you so much for having me, Nathan. I believe in you. And to everyone watching this, please subscribe to Nathan's channel and feel the experience. He's like a... Uh, an amazing person inside and out. He has a lot of princely and kingly attributes <laughs> and um, he is oh, as beautiful stop. on the inside. So uh, there you go. Stop kissing my butt, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, thank you very much. Um, so yes, guys, uh, check out Alley Cat Castle. Uh, uh, she, uh, she makes uh, incredible, incredible videos. Uh, I will leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check out Ali. And uh, that is it for this yes. video, guys. Um, and don't forget sisters like Angel and Ali. Yes, no, yeah, check that one out. Uh, do you want to talk about a little bit about that real quick? So, oh yeah, no, I just, um, like, like I said in the beginning, please oh, support okay. sisters like Angel and Ali. You know, it's me and my true to life uh, younger sibling. And we're just here to basically celebrate people, all their beautiful stories. Thank all you, right. Nathan. Yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, I'll leave that in the description down below. So check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Ali. And uh, I'm out. I am so conked out. I'm so tired right now. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no worries. Um, oh, God. And happy and, holidays to everyone. Yeah, happy holidays to everybody. And uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, happy New Year's. Uh, if I don't see you again. And uh, that is it. So, guys, check out Alley Cat Castle. Thank you again, babe. You are absolutely an amazing human being. So, uh, thank you for uh, doing this with me. And hopefully, we'll do it again soon. Of course, anytime, anything for you. All right. So, live long and prosper. Peace out. And I will see you guys on the bounce.